Hello and welcome to another update video about MANA. So with the MANA chart, um, it's quite interesting. So the price is currently hovering around $1. MANA created a really well-looking um, correction. Yeah, uh, it might sound strange when I, when I say that, but there are certain things that just need to be in place when a correction is happening. And while I made a video earlier about AVEX, which concerns me a little bit about generally the, the way the impulse and also the current correction is looking. Um, this is important, but equally here on the MANA chart, it is actually exactly the opposite. It looks really, really good. Um, so you will remember back uh, end of last year, we had this massive move up here in a wave three, this uh, metaverse hype. Then we came down in a corrective wave four and we moved up and finished all of this off in a wave five. This was MANA's first larger wave one. An impulsive wave and since then we have come down in textbook ABC correction which is still playing out but mana as I said before in one of the last videos about mana um, it could have bottomed out already yeah so what we see here on the mana chart is that it came into this region which is perfect for the wave 2 a wave 2 typically especially at the moment the altcoin wave 2s they typically finish around the 88.7% FIP level and the 78.6 between 67 cents and 126. So we came into my target area here. We reached that area. We are in this area and we had a fantastic reaction, honestly, a fantastic reaction to the 88.7% Fibonacci retracement level down here. If you compare that to the AVEX chart, AVEX is still down here and has since then since it touched that 88.7% FIB level, it has even dropped below it. So MANA, completely different picture. And when we had this reaction down there at the 88.7% FIB level, we had a 130% increase within just a couple of days. Since then we have come down, but what I want to emphasize here is that what we're currently seeing on many other charts is that what we are doing here, this entire move looks corrective in itself, which means that all of this with many other charts and Bitcoin as well, all of this is looking corrective, indicating that from the low here, we have a correction to the upside and there will be one more lower low. That is what all these charts are currently indicating. With the MANA chart, generally the price structure looks different. What looks corrective is only this element, but what looks impulsive, and that is what is missing on the other charts, is this element, this very strong move up. We can count here an Elliott wave impulse, and what we are doing here can be counted as a correction, which means if this is the case, and we have indications for that, that means Mana is one of the few cryptos, actually the only one really I think that I have on the on the radar that has a really good, well, BNB as well. BNB was another one, but I haven't updated the chart for a few days. Um, that could have completed the correction. We can count this very nicely as an impulse and this here as a corrective wave down. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. But to confirm that the chart now needs to prove something and we want to get at least, at least above that 136 level, we need to break above the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level at 126 and move above the previous swing high here at 136. And if we count this as, um, here, if we if we count this, this can be a, f a first impulse, this wave one, yeah? Um, then this could be here a wave two, maybe not complete yet. Then the next wave would be a wave three. We come down in a wave four, oops, and we move once more up in a wave five. And there will be the time when all of this whole wave will be corrected as well. Yeah, this would be a wave one, and then this will come down in a wave two again, after which we would get the wave three. And anybody who wants real confirmation has to wait for this five wave move to play out and to be corrected down. Um, we are adding the puzzle pieces together. That is what we're doing here. And MANA looks, and that is what I can tell you, much better than the other coins, absolutely. I mean, it can still come down once more to the 88.7% FIP level, but if I if I compare an AVEX chart to a MANA chart, huge difference, yeah, huge difference. And I would have at the moment much more trust in the MANA chart. Actually, it is one of the cryptos 
even though I don't particularly like the project much, you know, I've, I mean, I've tried Decentraland, I've been in there in the metaverse, and, yeah, I don't see the point at the moment, not for that particular metaverse, but that is not necessarily important. What is important here is the technical things, and um, we are looking here at something really positive, a, a really good chart, and I can tell you that it is very possible, yeah, I won't go as far as to say the low is in here, but we have a much higher chance for mana compared to other cryptos that the low is already in. Um, we are here obviously observing at the moment and as soon as we get here above the 78.6% FIB level at 136, this could already start the move up. Yeah. Um, bear in mind, this here is target area. This is a potential buying area for anybody who wants to invest in these coins. Uh, I've got these target areas on various crypto charts and this is the area where you can get the low. Yeah, this is the area. There is never a guarantee this is the lowest point. Here in this case, the 88.7% level would have been the lowest point, but there is never a guarantee. Of course, it can move lower until we have confirmation that it is, that we are back in an uptrend. At the moment, we don't have confirmation yet, but what I can tell you in my view, as soon as we go above 136, which is the previous swing high, we're going to see quite a massive price increase that could go all the way in the first instance to here 169 which is the low of the wave a and then to the 61.8 percent fibonacci retracement level at 227 so this is all looking interesting and i also gave you for the next bull run which would be a higher degree wave two uh, sorry wave three because this was a wave one back in november currently we are in a wave two maybe completed already and the wave three would be the next one and that would go to the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level that would be at a minimum at $9.40. So yeah, we can certainly expect a 10X from here, pretty much at a dollar at the moment and um, a very interesting chart, honestly. So I'll definitely keep my eye on it. And um, what I can also tell you, you won't get more confirmation than this, that the low is in. You won't get more confirmation because we can only see that the low is in by looking backwards. We will only know by looking backwards. And there are a few things coming together here. Very strong reaction to the 88.7% FIB level. We came into this target area to complete all the minimum requirements to complete this correction, because this is the area where a wave two normally ends. If it doesn't, it will massively increase the risk for the coin if we move below the 88.7% FIB level. And therefore, this is just the area with the highest likelihood where we are turning around. No guarantee that the low is already in. There will never be a guarantee. But I can tell you that the chart from an Elliott Wave point of view and generally by what it's been doing is looking much better than many other charts. And I would be more confident in saying here that the low is in than I would be for many of the other coins I'm covering. So hopefully that's clear. Um, hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.